Hi everyone. Well today I'm going to talk about covered interest arbitrage. Covered interest arbitrage can happen when there's a misalignment between the interest rates between two countries and their currency rates. So more specifically it's possible if the difference in interest rates between two countries is significantly different than the forward currency premium. So if the difference in interest rates is greater than the forward premium you want to invest in the higher yielding currency. However, if the difference in interest rates is less than the forward premium, then you want to invest in the lower yielding currency. So I'm going to go through an example here and show you how this works. Let's assume that the dollar interest rate is 6% <clears throat> annualized. So that's really 3% over 180 days. And let's say the yen interest rate is 2%, which is 1% for 180 days. So just half of 2% is 1%. So we can see right away that the spread here is 2%. U.S. rates are higher than Japanese rates, 2% over 180 days. Let's say that the current spot rate, and I say in European terms, that means foreign currency units per $1. If I call it American terms, it's dollars per one foreign, one foreign currency unit. So European terms is when there's foreign currency units per dollar. And that's how the yen is typically expressed. The current spot rate is 107 yen per dollar. Let's say that the forward rate is 104.3 yen to the dollar. And you can see right away that the yen now is trading at a premium in the forward market. The reason I know that is it actually takes fewer yen to buy dollars. It only takes 104.3 yen to buy a dollar six months forward than it does today in the spot market. So the yen is actually strengthening here in the forward market. So the directionality is right. U.S. rates are higher. That means the yen has to trade at a premium. But we need to know, is this at least 2%? Let's check it out. out. So we know the spread is 2%. But the yen is trading at a premium of 107 divided by 104.3. It's actually trading at a premium of 2.589%. That's greater than 2%. So we said when the forward currency premium is trading wider than interest rates, than the interest rate spread, then we want to invest in the lower yielding currency. We want to take advantage of this yen trading at a premium. We want to take advantage of that, so we're going to invest in Japanese yen. So we're going to borrow dollars today. So let's go back here. We're going to borrow dollars today. We're going to convert those dollars into Japanese yen. We're going to invest in yen, and we're going to sell yen forward back into dollars. I know that sounds confusing, so let's walk through and make it real easy. Okay, today we're going to borrow that million dollars. Now, over time, we're going to have to pay that money back. And we're going to borrow it at 3% because that's the U.S. interest rate. So we're going to owe, unfortunately, a million thirty thousand dollars and we're going to owe that money in six months, 180 days from now. However, we can earn some money in the meantime. Let's take that million dollars that we just borrowed and let's convert it into yen at the spot rate of 107 yen to the dollar. So that's going to give us 107 million yen. Now, we're going to invest that yen at 1% for 180 days. So that's going to get bigger. And now it's going to grow over these uh, six months, it's going to grow to 108 million yen, 70,000. So we're pretty happy about that. But now what we got to do is we've got to convert that back into dollars, right? So we can convert it back at this rate of 104.3. We locked in that rate today. Back here when we borrowed this money, we locked in this rate. We sold yen forward, and we knew we were going to have this much yen because we knew what the interest rate was. So we actually sold 108 million yen, 70,000, back at the spot rate or at the forward rate of 104.3, we locked in that trade six months ago. Now, six months is up, and it's time to settle on that trade. So we deliver the yen back into dollars. We sell the yen back into dollars, and we convert, convert it at a, at a rate of 104.3, at a stronger yen rate. So that's going to give us even more dollars. And you bet, we now have $1,036,000, 146. We have more money than we owe we have an arbitrage profit. And here's what's interesting. We never touched our own money, right? We borrowed this money, we made this round trip, and then we paid it all off. We never had to dip into our own bank account for this. That's why it's really a risk-free, quote-unquote, profit here. 
So you can imagine if you can don't even have to t tap into your own money that you can borrow more than a million. You can borrow two million, maybe twenty million, maybe two hundred million. And you could see over time that people would do this, and this trade would get arbitraged away. Now, how would it go away? Well, what would happen is in the spot market, you would see a lot of people, a lot of volume converting dollars into yen. So this would put upward pressure on the yen in the spot market over here at this bank. So the yen would go from 107 to 106.9 to 106.8 to 106.5. So the yen dollar, would the yen would be strengthening by, by going lower here. And then over here, you would see a lot of people executing in the forward market, selling yen back into dollars. So they're selling yen into dollars. So it go, and so this would put downward pressure on the yen. So yen would go from 104.3 to 104.4 to 104.5 to 105. So the yen's getting weaker in the forward market and it's strengthening in the spot market. And it would happen such that would continue over time until the forward premium would go back down towards 2%. And then we would be in a state of interest rate parity. And I actually did create another video on interest rate parity, so go check that out. It's got a live example in there, so that'll help clar clarify everything when you look at these two videos together. Had uh, it been different, had the interest rate spread been, say, 3 or 4% between Japan and the U.S., then you would have invested in dollars. You would have wanted to actually invest in dollars. And in that situation, you would have borrowed yen, invested in dollars, converted back, sold yen forward, uh, six months forward and made money that way. You could walk through that on your own and see if you can figure that one out. But that is covered in interest arbitrage. Combine it with my interest rate parity video and you should have it all you should be all set. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel because over time I like to make lots of videos where I make finance fun for students. So thank you.